Today in the news, two LCDs are better than one, a G-Sync for FreeSync, and Intel and Micron break up. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. At CES, a lot of impressive things came out of the TV world. We had some manufacturers include Apple's AirPlay, HomeKit, and iTunes into their displays. We also had some rollable TVs and 8K TVs coming to market. But the thing that really impressed me was this new display tech from Hisense. They call it ULED XD. It's pretty simple. They take a traditional 4K RGB VA LCD and they back it into a 1080p grayscale LCD of the same size. As you might know, an LCD doesn't emit its own light like OLED does, so areas of the screen that need to be black are still backlit giving it a weird bluish tint. Previously, the fix for that was to use local dimming, which would dim the LCD behind the area where the image was darker, but it was never really spectacular due to the limited number of LEDs that could be dimmed. By adding a 1080p grayscale LCD behind the 4K RGB one, you essentially have a sort of local dimming but with 2 million points of adjustments. This could bring really high dynamic range to LCDs without having to spend a fortune for OLEDs and without the possibility of burn-in. Now I'm not saying that this matches OLED or micro LED technology but I just thought that the tech was cool and I wanted to share it with you guys. Moving on, yesterday NVIDIA released their new GeForce drivers with the FreeSync support or Adaptive Sync support. If you wanted to buy a new monitor for your NVIDIA graphics card, you now have three labels to look for. G-Sync compatible, G-Sync and G-Sync Ultimate. A G-Sync compatible display just means that it will do basic Adaptive Sync without issues which is pretty much what you want. Then there's G-Sync displays which are certified, whatever that means, and G-Sync Ultimate which which includes HDR at 1000 nits. Now that means that previous G-Sync monitors that came with a price bump of three to $400 weren't even G-Sync Ultimate compatible. Interesting. And their G-Sync Ultimate standards is awfully similar to FreeSync 2, except that FreeSync 2 displays should have a minimum nit to brightness of 400. That doesn't mean that you can't find an HDR display with 1000 nits that works with FreeSync 2. Anyways, I feel like in the next two years, G-Sync specific displays are going to go away way and will have adaptive sync everywhere since Intel is planning on supporting it with their GPUs in 2020. Guess all that's left for me is to try it out on my FreeSync display. Then we have Intel and Micron. In case you didn't know, the two companies had a joint venture called IM Flash, which allowed the pooling of resources to create new technologies. One of these technologies was 3DX Point, which is now used by Intel for their Optane memory. Last year, the two companies stopped collaborating on regular NAND Flash after they completed their 96 layer design. That is what is found in uh, Intel's current 660p SSDs, one of my favorites. This year, Micron exercised their option to buy out Intel out of IM Flash. What does that mean? Well, nothing very exciting. Intel will continue making 3DX Point at one of their own factories, so Optane isn't dead. But it's interesting to see that Micron is willing to butt out Intel like that. Do they have some crazy new NAND flash that they don't want anyone to have access to? Was Intel that much of a burden to work with? I guess we'll know in the future. The transaction probably won't be completed for a few months since Intel has up to a year to close the transaction. All right, let's get some gaming news up in here. Black Ops 4 Blackout Mode will be free for a week starting tomorrow from the 17th all the way to the 24th. All you need is a Battle.net account. I'm for sure going to try it out since I didn't buy Black Ops 4. I really wanted to, but I just didn't. It might be a good incentive to buy it if I like the mode enough. Also in Battle Royale, Fortnite got a new geometric shape in the game. Last year, it was a massive cube that transformed into a butterfly and then opened rifts to teleport you straight into the sky but this year it seems like we have a sphere what does it do I don't know but it's a giant sort of ice sphere placed in polar peak epic really knows how to keep a game entertaining I personally stopped playing a while back but just hearing about all of those changes make me want to jump back into it anyways let me know what you guys thought about the news today do you think that ULED XD is going to be adopted or will it fade into the distance 
do you think G-Sync will live on or will it die in 2019? And does Intel have some surprise in their memory department? As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video, right here to subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to drop a like down below, stay frosty, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Yes, I'm sick again. It's like I'm sick every two weeks, it, it's crazy. <coughs> Take care guys. There you go, that's a nice snap.